Good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session. <coughs> Barry Allen, is the voice loud and clear? Barry Allen, Ravi Kumar, Priyanka, Prajakta, Sweety, Shalini and many more who are all online. Welcome to Chai Pe Charcha with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj on this wonderful evening. Can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear? Continuing our discussion on the neat PG question bank in the last 15 years. The next topic of interest, the most high yield topic, frequently asked topic is all about seizures. If eight questions come in neurology without a question on seizures, there is no question paper is what you need to remember. That's good. Now, what is the treatment of choice of the generalized tonic-clonic seizures that you see <clears throat> in pregnancy? Lamotrigine is considered to be a safe drug. Let's quickly run through the seizures. What are simple partial seizures are? What is the meaning of that? Simple means there is no loss of consciousness. Partial because they are arising from one single focus in the brain. And typically the seizures will be skipping from one part of the body to the other. Which is called a Jacksonian march is what you need to remember. The simple partial seizures, they involve one side of the brain, they last for about 20 to 60 seconds and there is no change in the consciousness. So how do you want to manage the partial seizures and the generalized tonic-clonic seizures? The preferred drug of the partial seizures any day is carbamazepine. But carbamazepine in the young girls is not preferred. I mean, uh, it is the one which is preferred instead of phenytoin because of the cosmetic effects. If you happen to use the phenytoin, a lot of gingival hyperplasia and the skin, they are all the challenges which are not there with the carbamazepine. Now, valproate is a wonderful drug, the drug preferred in GDCS. But in children, if you want to give valproate, you should remember hepatotoxicity. Now, what are alternatives? It is a lamotrigin, gabapentin, topiramate are considered to be good alternatives. Now, if you take the GDCS, the first choice any day is carbamazepine and phenytoin. Valproate, phenobarbitone are second choice. Lamotrigin, gabapentin, topiramate, primidone, levetiracetam, all this you can be able to add on to these primary drugs like carbamazepine and phenytoin is what need to be remembered. Complex partial seizures may, there is a loss of consciousness, automatisms will be there and the last between 30 seconds to 2 minutes, consciousness is impaired and uh, the patient looks confused or inappropriate with a dazed behavior that characterizes the uh, complex partial seizures. Generally we use Carbamazepine plus phenytoin or valproate. Refractory cases we give levetiracetam, lamotrigine, gabapentin, topiramate, and zonisamide. Then what are absent seizures? The teacher says, the child is looking through me. He is not looking at me. That is the absent seizure is what you need to remember. They last less than 30 minutes. There will be postural tonic changes and uh, there will be autonomic phenomena that happen in the absent seizures. You can give ethosuximide or valproate, but valproate is most commonly used because if you use valproate in absence, you can prevent the emergence of the GDCS is what you need to remember. Lamotrigine is a good alternative if you want a sustained response. Clobizam can very much be given. So, valproate is the first choice, ethosuximide and lamotrigine are the second choice in the case of the absent seizures. Then comes the atonic seizures. It is also called echinidic epilepsy. 
the patient may suddenly fall down. Then myoclonic seizures. A typical child who has myoclonic seizures will be suddenly falling down. They are called salam spells are the classical feature of the myoclonic seizures. Now doc, if you look at the management of the myoclonic and atonic seizures, valproate is a preferred drug, lamotrigin is a preferred alternative and uh, you can add topiramate and levetiracetam. So for the myoclonic and atonic, what is the drug that should stay in your mind in the tomorrow's exam? Valproate is considered to be the best and uh, levetiracetam and clonazepam you can add to the valproate in case of the myoclonic seizures is what you need to remember. Finally comes the status epilepticus. When do you call it a status epilepticus? If it is lasting more than 30 minutes is considered to be the important definition to call it a status which is a medical emergency. Now one of the favorite questions asked in the entrance is what do you try first then next then next in case of the status epilepticus. So this you have to remember once more in the tomorrow's exam January 6th Ganti Bajrai Need PG 2019 exam ke liye aap ready ho jana. You will remember me in exam hall when they ask a question on status epilepticus clinical management. You give lorazepam 0.1 milligram per kg intravenously and uh, uh, at a speed of 2 milligram per minute. If lorazepam is not available then you can give dizepam or phenytoin IV. And nowadays phosphenatoin is being preferred. Suppose if there is no response to phenytoin, then phenobarbitone is used which is 100 to 200 milligram. If the seizure is continuing, then you should be ready to give general anesthesia with uh, propofol or thiopentol as a last resort is what you need to ultimately remember.